Hey guys, this is SN Hull, and today we're gonna be playing another gimmick deck. And finally, I'm gonna get with the times here, since I was kind of left behind, since I didn't have that much money to invest in cards. I was kind of left out of the meta. I didn't have enough mechs to make a deck. But now, now it's time for me to get up there, get back on that horse, and get back to the current meta, which will probably I'll probably lose it in a couple of months, but. I'm back on it! I have a mech deck! <laughs> and it's not the greatest of mech decks, but all systems are a go, so... Yeah, it works pretty well. Mech doesn't have the best mechs, mind me. I don't have all the mechs, I'm missing a few, I'm especially legendary ones, <laughs> I'm missing a lot of those. But, it's a mech deck. Not all cards in here are mechs. Cogmaster is not a mech. It works perfectly in synergy with mechs. He's complete crap without mechs, but he's not a mech. And where is he? The Tinker Town Technician. He's a mech as well, but come on, you would never separate a technician from his mech. They they're born to live together. You just can't. You just shouldn't, and you won't. I'm not gonna separate them from mechs. So, let's go through the deck real quickly, so I'll show you guys everything. And yes, I said so twice. So, 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 so. <laughs> let's start off with the basic Clockwork Gnome. Which is pretty good for its value. But yeah, the Cogmaster. Again, if you don't have a mech, not that great. But if you have mechs, it's 3-2 for 1 mana. Which is incredible. Then we have the good old Warbots. Good? Not so much. Old? Maybe, but they pretty much leave off in enrages and fight off early aggro, like really early aggro. <laughs> Probably can't beat anything stronger than a Morlock, but they don't cost one mana. And if they're at full health and this little baby just happens to trigger, they become two ones, which is still crappy. It's a mech, it's a mech, it works out here, it works out. Not in the greatest of ways, but it works out. Then you have the Mech Warper, which is actually a good mech, <laughs> one of the best mechs I've shown so far. I'm sorry, Gnome. You're good too. You sometimes. <laughs> You're not a mech. <laughs> so the Mech Warper enables us to get all of this out a lot faster. Hell, if we get a Mech Warper down, we can just... If we have a handful of these guys, we can just play everything. It's not always a smart idea, but we can do it. We can, the possibility is there. And we have the Demolisher. The Demolisher is kind of a weird mech, because it's not really that well seen as a mech, but it is a mech. Mind you, it is a mech. So, when you say mech, really, very rarely people think, ah, oh, Demolisher. Nope. But it is a mech, it works. And if you lack better cards to fill the deck with, well, it's still a mech. <laughs> it's a mech. Then you have the Iris Golem. As old as the Demolisher, but actually more relatable to Max. It was the first card that you actually thought, why is there the Mech thingy in the bottom? We didn't know. We didn't know back then. We didn't know. It was just something called a Mech. We never knew what would come eventually. We never knew of the rise of the machines. When it happened, it all was explained. Arvid's Golem was undercover the whole time, just waiting for the rise. Then you have a good Spider Tank. 3 4 for 3. Not much to say there. Tinker Town, well, let's just say I'm never gonna play him if there isn't a mech on the board. Just like the Cogmaster, I'm not gonna touch him if there, I don't have a mech on the board, which is not a problem since around, well, literally 27 cards in this deck are mechs, so that's probably not a problem. And the other Arcade Nullifier, good. It's kinda good to fight off early aggro while avoiding spells and removal. Not the greatest of mechs, but a good one. Then we have Jeeves, the robot butler. Is he valuable for a fight? Nope. But that ability of his, if you're out of cards and you just dump it, then it's great. Play everything, drop a Jeeves, get three cards back. Win-win. There's no way you can lose in that situation. Then we have the Mechanical Yeti. Mechanical Yeti is a Yeti, Man, and it's it's a little better than the regular Yeti, in my 
At least in my taste. You can argue against it since it gives spare parts to both players, but you can argue against it. Pelt Shredder, pretty much pay for a four mana for a four three and get some random two cost minion. Great. Screwjack Clunker, incredible if you played it right. If you drop this on turn four and you have a mech that's worth a damn, this is gonna be a, usually a pretty big pain to deal with with the buffs he gives. Then we have the Antique Hillbot. Antique Hillbot is more like you have an extra 16 health. So you're not gonna get killed anytime soon if you have these babies. <laughs> they heal a lot. I I think... I actually think they're the minion that heals the most of all of our stuff. I really do. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't check all the other minions. But I do think it's the minion that heals the most. And yes, minion, there are spell cards that heal more. That much I do know. I'm not, I'm not great at the game, but I'm not a complete idiot either. Nope, no, I'm not. Nope, <laughs> just making sure. Nope. Then we have Mimron's Head, which by itself, not a great card, but if you get the combo off, suddenly this becomes a huge pain to deal with, especially if your adversary has no talents. Moving on, we have the little Siege Engine. Whenever you get armor, it gains plus one attack. I can see something wrong with that. Plus, golden. So it just moves around and farts fire. And to end it, what mech that could not carry a tank? The most terrifying of mechs. Force tank max? This is our heavy hitter. Well, our heaviest of hitters. It's a pain in the ass to deal with this boy. It really is. Unless you have like a naturalize or something like that, then it's pretty much pretty easy to deal with it. But let's hope they don't. Let's hope they don't. And I think I talked for way too long, and that's not what I wanted. So let's take the max. let's let them loose, let's see what they can do by themselves. Now that I'm thinking about it, this, they'll probably come make a comeback with some upgrades later on, and I have more mech cards, but for now this is the mech deck. Which kind of leaves options for all systems go 2.0. It's a great idea to keep on. I have to refresh some of my older decks as well, which I already made videos of. They weren't the, they weren't the greatest at the Jana time, but... Versus Jaina. I can go refresh them, it. and I can probably make them a lot better. Okay. Should I keep these? Get this one out. I'm not gonna coin, then turn two. Or I might coin, and... Okay, my idea here is we play this, we coin that out, then we armor turn 2, turn 3, drop the Demolisher, turn 4, we drop this, if this is the only thing alive, the Demolisher is the only thing alive, then the plus 2-2 two, two goes to the Demolisher, becomes a 3-6. Yep, 3-6. Becomes a pain to deal with. So, that's the plan. Let's so the plan actually works here. And I'm seeing I'm gonna be pretty reliant on early game aggro. Since we reach turn 4 and we're out. Which is kind of surprising. We like a lot of 2 mana creatures in this deck, but. Not so much of 3 mana and 4 mana. We have a lot of those. Okay. The only thing I can do here is armor up. I'll fix you. There is no point in actually taking this out right now. I'll force him to trade if he wants. I could trade and still be valuable, but... Okay, his idea was he can actually he can freeze me. He can just take everything. His idea was pretty much he could win here. With a great play. You could have come a little bit sooner, Mac Warper. You really could. Now I'm gonna trade. He's just gonna bring, bring it down. And as long as this guy is alive... It might kill him. Come on. Nope. Well, that screws up my my turn four blade. All my plans for nothing. 
He's probably gonna try it. If he doesn't, if he brushes face, then I'm good. If not, well... Let's hope, just, just, let's just hope he rushes face, even though he won't. <laughs> because it's clearly dead. But we can always hope. Luckily we have no weapons, because the crap that's been put up against us is a real pain to deal with. Okay. Let's get the siege engine out. I think he's a proper mech deck, so we're probably gonna have a little bit of pain dealing with him. Yep, he's a proper deck, alright. Ah, oh, nice run. I should have crafted you, but I didn't. I kind of regret it, but then again, why do I regret it? Okay, this doesn't get the full value out of it. I might play Jeeves. No, that will benefit him. I don't want to play Jeeves. What now? Dropping this. What will we miss? Well, it'll miss two healing points, and it's better to have something on the board than nothing. Because otherwise, we would just armor up, and that's not a turn we want. And just rushing face. Okay, we can get value out of these. So. Defensive systems online. Okay, let's get this out. My reasoning there was, if he's gonna trade the alien, he's just gonna trade it in. Damn you! He's gonna rush face, most likely. Okay. If I get a heal bot, he'll pay for what he did. But that's a pretty big if. There is no amount of hell for someone that plays the, these many Neutrons. There isn't. There really isn't. Okay, I might get the, the Force Max tanking out here, but what will that accomplish? Uh, let's see. Just go straight up and spam the board. I don't think he has a pyro to kill me. Let's see for them. He can't kill me. Maybe he can't kill me. Running speed. And I'm gonna bring in the hurt. I have to put up something that will scare him off. Problem with the, against the proper mech deck, it doesn't have only mechs. It has things that actually have value. Their second there, I forgot I was playing against the mage. Okay, I'm screwed here. There's no way I can survive this, and... Powering up! Portals online! I am... I'm gonna put everything I out here. Help you, sir. I can fix anything. I'm gonna spam the crap out of the board, and I'm gonna try to survive it really hard. I know I can't, because it's impossible. So, let's just kill something. Just for the pleasure of killing something. And did I use this one? Yes, I did. And concede. Yeah, screw you! You're not killing me. I can meet Spooku. Well played. So, uh, I'm gonna well played, but that I didn't. Also, I'm a little bit salty with that game. I really am. What's the odds of? Okay, I'm gonna play a mech that I built myself. And you get a mech deck with spell support that actually completely counters you and beats the crap out of you. Apparently, a lot. The odds are pretty much stacked against me. I got the crap kicked out of me. We didn't even have a way to come back. The Neutrons, man. Those are Neutrons. Garrosh versus Malfurion. I didn't get him in. I should have. Victory or death. I'm gonna turn one of the demolishers in, I'm gonna keep the pilot at Shredder. I shouldn't have thrown one of the demolishers away. 
I really shouldn't have. Well, I should... Well, it's not gonna make much of a difference. What, I'm gonna drop double Demolisher? No, so I'm just gonna play one Demolisher. Just didn't get the best thing for it. Okay, next turn we demolish, we start the bombardment, if he doesn't play anything. Well, if he does play anything, either way we're gonna play this, so... And if he has nothing to play, which he doesn't, the demolisher is actually pretty good control. Because anything that has two health, it can just lose the kill. You get lucky, of course, but... Hey, it's still pretty good value. I'm, I think I'm actually play the Tinker Town Technician, just because we get the spare part, which is always helpful. Plus, it's a 4-4, which means he can't heal it that easily. I'm kind of trying to remember the card name, I kind of forgot right now. What was it? Okay, I, for I completely forgot. I kind of forgot, I completely forgot it, but... Hell. You know what I think with card I'm talking about, the one that does 3 damage or 1 damage and it plays and it draws a card. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking tinkering? about. Special in. I could have used the Whirlwind Blade, but what for? What the hell am I gonna use it for? Just give me a up? quest. Not smart, my friend. Not smart at all. I'm actually gonna use this or maybe am I? He's gonna buff it up. Really wants to buff it up? Something tells me as soon as I kill him. Yeah, you're so smart. So let me get this straight. I still get to play a minion. I just have to sacrifice what I have on the board, and you still lose. Not a smart play, my friend. Not a smart play. How the hell did you man make it to rank 17 and really plays like that? It makes no sense. He burned a lot of cards that are completely useless played like that. What's he waiting for? That yeah, I have an 8-8. I'm gonna beat you. Ah, crap. Okay, let's get the siege engine out. Let's get the Sinji in general. I'm gonna attack with him, I'm gonna keep him alive. If he wants to trade, it's great for him, I'm not gonna do it. I'm probably gonna hit it with the Siege Engine and then trade it off, if I can. Let's see what he plays here. The scourge will consume That's you. really annoying. I'm not really sure what deck this is. We are in trouble now. Hello! <laughs> Okay, let's get something out. So we have one mech. We can't need three mechs for this, and I'd rather have it protected. So, no, but we can do this. This here. As the is out, so that's gonna be crap ton of it. Two pairs, he can't attack me. And I got this guy's pretty much secured. If he kills nothing, I can play Mimron's head next turn. And if I get this guy off, if I get the V07 TR on, this is gonna be a fun ride. Okay, dick move. Real dick move. So he's really counting on winning the game right now, otherwise, he's dead? What? What the hell kind of planning is that? I'm sorry, man. You you have you just lucky. I'm actually playing a gimmick deck. Who the hell plays like this? It really makes no sense at all. Okay, he's gonna swarm the. If I get this, it summons four spectral spiders. So I would want to kill this. It will swarm the board, and I can kill this, and it can only get one out. Right? Right. I'm not sacrificing this little boy. So I'm gonna try this one. Wishes. I'm gonna try to use that Death Rattles against him. Yep. So I do this. I 
deny this double death rattle. Can I armor up just enough so I can screw him over really, really hard? I don't think so, but I can get a second siege engine now. Okay, this, and I can armor up. Six damage, I can't kill him. It's like really hard for him though. As soon as I take that out, it's done. He can kill a lot of my mechs, but he can't kill all of them. Of that, of that I'm pretty damn sure. Then again, I, I can't follow up any of his logic. His entire play was just, I know I'm gonna pull off a massive combo! And he, when he doesn't, I'm just kinda like, what? What are you? What do you want to do with that? What? 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 What's he trying to pull here? I just don't get it. I don't get it. He's not even trading against my siege engine. Never mind. I, I don't want to understand him. I just want to beat him. I'm done. I can't. I can't. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> this is really screwing with my head here. this and blow him up. Yeah, I'll stop the aggro on my face. Plus, if he's planning on doing something with turtles, yeah. I'm just gonna get a lot of mix up. Yeah, be able to kill this one. Behold, I'm just gonna put it out there. I can just get the anti-kill bot out or something like that to fill the, the missing mech. So, it's not gonna turn, it's still gonna be a 4-5. He's gonna take damage to the face. So, yeah, Okay! I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he's doing something alright. And I'm gonna kick the crap out of him with my massive things. He's burned all his buffs. What is he waiting for this shade to do for him? By the point this shade can actually do something, I will I would have killed him. I don't understand what's his logic. He's just It's like somebody just trying to I don't know. It's like okay, I'm gonna use a football term, and yes, football for me is foot on ball, not American football. Okay, <laughs> since we got that one cleared out, it's just, it's like somebody kicking... Oh, you huge asshole! Ugh. He's pretty much kicking the ball from goalie to goalie, just waiting for a miracle. I, I have no idea what the hell is going on in his head. But... I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I can't think, I can't think like he does. He's making no sense, if I burn my head out trying to figure out what the hell he's doing, I'm gonna get killed. Just by screwing up somehow. Just sure. Okay, thanks for the spare part. Still got an extra damage to the face. Okay, give me something good. Okay. You burn pretty much all of your buffs. I'm not sure what you want to do with it. Go nuts. Go nuts, my friend. Go nuts. This is seriously the most confusing Hearthstone match I ever played. It's, that, it's not that his deck doesn't head. make this. It's not that his deck doesn't make sense. He doesn't make sense himself. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's not playing the cards that they're supposed to be played. At least not optim optimally. And he's really screwing with my head here, he really is. Battle detected. Now let's do, do this. Pop it a little bit. Gonna poke it here, then it's gonna be yeah, pretty much. So if this is a war of attrition and he just blew pretty much everything he has. Nope! Ba -ba 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 -ba.
I'm confused here. I'm honestly confused. I don't understand what the hell he's doing. I've never seen a druid deck like this. I have no idea what he's trying to pull off. And I'm really confused. Here, give me a spare part. I really am. I'm incredibly confused and I'm waiting for the rest of my deck to show up. If I lose this game, I'm gonna be really salty. I'm gonna be really salty. He's just playing the worst game ever. He has a proper deck. It is a proper deck, what he's playing. He's just playing it in such a weird and insane way that... Look at that. It makes no sense what he's doing. Yeah, I have this death rattle. It's like, yeah, I have a deck. And I'm gonna play every combo I have right now with complete and utter disregard towards anything that's going on and anything else. I'm just... I just don't get it. I really don't. Okay, next turn, if he leaves this out, I'm gonna make sure that everything on his board dies. Plus, I'm pretty much gonna win here. I have enough health to do whatever the hell I want, whenever the hell I want. So, you have that, day. Can do it? No, he's not gonna do it. Then I'm gonna kill everything you have. Let's do this. Suicide so bumper chip. I could play this, it'll just kill it. I won't lose anything. I'm gonna actually play this guy. Just because I'm not gonna need the help. This is too much health. I need some damage here. He's not gonna beat me. What, is he expecting to get Fugan? you're dead. He plays the Undertaker after he's played the Death Rattle. This guy makes no sense. Does he even know how these cards work? Oh my god. The only explanation for me is it's a bot. It's a, it's a mech or... Someone really, really dumb. Battle detected. You know what, I'm gonna do this out there. I am. I'm just... I can't figure out what the hell he's trying to do. I really can't, I just want my tor my force tank max to beat the crap out of him. So, you wanna do what? I better not lose this game, I'm gonna be incredibly salty if I lose. He's playing like crap. He really is. I don't think he knows how half of his deck works. Just randomly trying incredible combos and... I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I don't think my mind can handle losing this game, I just don't. It's not making any sense. What the? It makes no sense the way he's playing his cards, I can't understand! Can somebody please help me? Please, down in the comments, please tell me if you know what the hell he's doing. Please, enlighten me, this is screwing up my head here. I don't know what he's doing, I really don't! Battle commencing! Uh, this up. Portals online. Okay, he's almost out of cards here. I want to take this out, I want to leave this one. That might feel a little tingle. Uh, this is how I'm gonna do it. I can beat him. If as long as I don't pop this, he has no final advantage, no trump card. He can try and kill it off, but I'm not gonna hit him. I'm just not. He used both swipes, he has no way to do an incredible full 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 board clear. So Okay, let's get this up. I'll hurry up. Let's keep on going. Is he pushing his face? I have no intention of killing him. If he wants to kill himself, he can go nuts. I won't do it. I really don't get what he's doing here. I honestly don't. It's it's confusing. It's really it really is. Minions, servants, Okay, absolute dick move. Dude, seriously, go fuck yourself. I'm just done. I'm done with you. I'm done. You played... 
hell, if I was drunk... If I was drunk, burning dead, and a hell of a lot of other things I'm not gonna say here, I would've played, still played better than you. You don't deserve this win. You really don't. You don't, it just doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna... Escape. Pretend I know how to play. Rise against you. Dude, screw you. I'm not even. I'm usually pretty friendly with these. I don't care if I win or lose. Not this one. No. Hell no. I'm not gonna be happy with this like this. No. It's not. It's a proper deck, but he played like he was great then. He's gonna win. But if, ugh. Honestly, man. I just really, really want to. This is not one I'm gonna concede. I'm not gonna give the, the rights to concede. I'm gonna fucking charge his face. I'm almost out of cards. Seriously, man. Ugh. I see. I think I, you know what, I'm gonna get my cat. I'm gonna get my cat to play Hearthstone, just leave him out here and play. If this guy can play, win playing like this, anyone can do it. Hell, even your pets. Go grab your pets, leave, get him on Hearthstone and clown. get him playing. Please get him playing. Because if he can win, anyone can win. It's bullshit, it's just, it's just complete bull, utter bullshit here, man. It really is. And I know I'm really salty right now, but... I said it, I call it, if I lost that game, I'll be incredibly salty. I played so badly. Hey, uh, I got a questing adventurer here. I'm gonna use all my buffs. And I'm just like, you're dumb? I'm kidding. I killed it. And then he's like, hey, I have an incredible combo and I'm gonna play dumbly. And I just stopped him again. I actually yeah. played the game well. And then just... Hey, here's my final returned combo! And I'm just... Uh, fuck you. Just fuck you, man. <laughs> Seriously. I apologize for the salt, I really do. But at this point, I don't think anyone could have played that game as I did and... show 0% of salt. I don't think... I don't... No, 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 no. <laughs> I really don't think anyone could do it. Okay, can we get this out? It's better than the Warbot. Especially if he has nothing on board here. Uh, I'm just gonna try this. So this guy trades off pretty well. Okay, let's do this. I could coin, coin this guy out, but then what? Well, I do gain a lot stronger presence by doing so, and it's gonna be 3 mana, I can actually play Warbot and... Yep, yeah, let's do this. Alright, let's Okay. Time to wonder, I can actually bring him back if I want more spare parts, but I don't. This deck doesn't have that many spare parts synergy. To be honest. Piggy, 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 piggy! If you've gotten anything else, I could've traded. Okay, let's get the battle warbots detected, out. Detected. So, we do absolutely no damage, but we're sort of terrifying, because if he uses a wing kills this, not only do I get a spare part of these guys, but their damage and replace this one. So... My friend is not doing that, I don't... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Or do I? I'll bash his face in. Plus I'll get... Yeah, you know, I don't know. Yeah. The problem here is I'm trying... I usually use my reasoning, it's like... It's a 4-3, I'm gonna lose it. Then again with Pilots of Traitor, why do you care? He takes 4 damage to face, he loses his weapon... And you get another minion! So, it's a win-win situation all around. <laughs> Okay, let's steal the diamond while I'm waiting here. I don't mess around with the map that much while I'm recording, but when I'm off recording, I never stand still here. If I'm waiting, I'm just flipping things around and... What? You have a 
nice killing you, right? Okay. The center of the explosive trap, which is pretty dumb Battle you. commencing. Or it's a freezing trap, which I'll absorb. Yeah, it's a freezing trap, I'll absorb it. Pretty willingly, if I say so. So I'm gonna do this. I can actually play this one out again. And armor up. Battle detected. Yeah, I'm not gonna armor up here. I'm just gonna get all these guys out. Next turn I can actually reverse switch this guy if I want to deal more damage or well, anything else. So it's pretty good. If I swap them... He get the so you're gonna kill something with those doggies? Unleash the Hounds used to be such a terrifying play. Not anymore. Okay, that kind of screwed me over. I can't play the antique kill bots anymore. Battle commencing. So do this, Get this out. I could have swapped this. I really could, but I forgot it. Well, it could kill it easily. Like this, it's. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna swap it if I need the damage for the kill. I'm not gonna swap it in any other occasion. Because honestly, keeping this guy around with both of my heal bots, not the smartest play here. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. This. Do this and these guys I don't want to trade. I might have traded the, the, the Robar Weblord. I will never trade these guys' health unless it's good to go straight for the kill. Because as long as they remain at four health, they can just keep up a steady bombardment. Plus, being two of them, that's every turn it starts. Every turn, not every turn it starts, or every turn it starts to rain explode. If not just any turn it starts, <laughs> so. Okay. I can force the move out of him. So it's three. I'm gonna have to kill it. Or I can just go for. I am I gamble ready. It. Getting this, just getting this out here. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. He wasn't able to remove these guys. So, he's probably not gonna be able to remove this one. And even if he does, if he plays no minions, the bombardments, it's just gonna be 4 damage, 3 well left. Played. Well played. So. He actually played really well. And the glory of the beast. I'm actually gonna swap it. Full power. No, just to go. Just blast everything. Just to get a win, damn it. We got a win. We finally got a win. And we pulled off the combo. Ah. So, that was all systems ready. Was it? No, it was all systems go, let's be honest. <laughs> they were ready. Why did I get the all systems ready here? Probably one of the max said it and I just got it stuck in my mind. Never mind, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so, the machines brought us victory, defeat, and salt. All of those combined. <laughs> and it was pretty fun to play it. Except for the second game, it was pretty fun. Just to straight up fight it out, to brawl it out, win or lose. What matters here is to have fun. We should never forget that. So, if you try, if you guys enjoyed this prototype mech deck, leave a like. If you want to comment on my salt, just go nuts. I'm not gonna be salty about it. Just have fun about it. I'll have fun with you guys as well. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> and if you want to see more videos, more Hearthstone gimmick decks, subscribe. I make new videos constantly. I could say every week, but there was a drought, and then I'm back doing them every week, so it's kind of complicated, but you, you'll have new videos. And talk to me. I, I love having feedback from you guys, even even if it's just jokes, you guys just talking to me, just having fun. I love it, I just love doing it. I love having that community interaction. I know there aren't many of us, but I still love talking to you guys. So, hell. So, until the next video... Bye-bye.